Hi, I'm Nora for eNotes.com. Welcome to the video study guide for George Orwell's 1984. Introduction. If you want a picture of the future, imagine a boot stamping on a human face forever. That quote represents the future as envisioned by the party, the governing body that rules over society in George Orwell's 1984. And you don't need to have actually read the novel yet to realize that the vision is exceptionally unpleasant. Now, there are many works of literature that present a bleak view of the future, but several things combine to make Orwell's book perhaps the most terrifying of all. First, Orwell knew what he was talking about. An intensely committed man who had traveled and studied widely, Orwell observed politics firsthand and from several places in the power structure. He served in Burma as a member of the Indian Imperial Police, and he later fought in the Spanish Civil War, where he was shot through the neck. These personal experiences filter down into the novel and give it an amazing, gritty texture. Second, and closely related, Orwell was honest. Though he was a socialist, he was able to identify and willing to name the problems with an imposed social structure of the sort used in the Soviet Union. Third, he was an absolute genius. 1984 is his systematic, unrelenting critique of every way a corrupt government can exercise power over its people. Torture? <laughs> Try thugs in black bursting into your room and beating you unconscious. War? Oh yes. Oceana, the dystopian society depicted in the novel, is literally always at war with someone. When one conflict ends, the next begins. And that justifies the continual spying the government does on its people, and the people do on one another. Controlling the news? Even worse. The Ministry of Truth actually edits the past to make it conform with the official version of events. Mind control? In 1984, the party doesn't just control minds, it controls hearts. It observes its citizens, manages their emotions through public events, and re-educates rebels until they love Big Brother, the fatherly, fictionalized dictator whose face is everywhere. The party even invents a new language, Newspeak, that limits what people can think, making it impossible for anyone to even imagine a society different from Oceana. In the end, 1984 is a completely devastating view of the future, and a warning to us all. If you don't pay attention, the face that gets stomped on may be your own.